Hello guys, this is Captain Muhammad Ali. Welcome back to another video on screen calculations tutorial. On this video, we'll talk about how we can calculate healing angle due to grain shift. Let's see how we can make these calculations. To calculate healing angle, we need to first draw statical stability curve. Then we need to draw healing R curve. And the intersection angle between both curves will be the angle of heal due to grain shift. To draw statical stability curve, we need to know shift displacement and correct kg. If we look here to this page from grain stability booklet, we'll find shift displacement 81,368 and corrected kg 10.68. On this step, we have on this column healing degrees, and here sign of healing degrees, and this is called assume GZ. From where we can get assumed GZ values, we can get it from section 4 5 on grain step booklet. But these values have been given at assumed kg 0 and our corrected kg is 10.68 meter this means we need to correct these values to get actual gz values so now here we need to apply this correction you mentioned that actual gz equal assume gz plus this equation this is 0 minus 10.68 times sine healing angle. Here, if we check, we'll find assume g is at 1.169 and corrected value will be minus 0 0.931. Then we will get actual g is at value. And by healing angles and actual gz values we can draw our statical stability curve now let's move to section 4-5 to see what that section has here this is gz table here incline angles or healing angles whatever and on this column we have displacement so we'll use our displacement to get assumed gz values we need to make interpolation between 81300 and 81400 to get the assumed gz values if we looked here we will find our statical stability Okay. already drawn it by healing angles and actual gz values healing arm curve is a straight line with healing river between lambda zero and 0.8 lambda zero where is lambda zero is healing moment lever at healing angle zero at 0.8 lambda zero at healing angle 40 degrees and when we connect these two points we will get healing r k and here this point is the intersection point between both cases and downside here we'll have 
the intersection and healing angle in between most cases. But there are very important notice we should know it. We are not usually use healing angles at 40 degrees. There are some different cases. If we check here, we will see the angle theta is defined by the one of the following angles, whichever is the least 40 degrees or the flooding angles or the angle at which the maximum writing levels occur. This means we need to calculate flooding angle and the angle which maximum writing levels occurs, pair both of them with 40 degrees, and we use the smallest angle during our calculation and if we find the flooding angle 39 we will not use 40 degrees we will use 39 or if we find the maximum right in levels of curves on 38 we will use 38 degrees just mean we need to calculate both angles to know which one is smallest and compare it with 40 degrees but in our example we will use 40 degrees in our calculation. Now we need to calculate lambda zero value. Lambda zero value, we can calculate it from this formula, total transfers healing moment over this displacement. And for total transfers healing moment value, we already calculated it on last lecture, was 29,059. And shift displacement, 81,368 This means the value of lambda 0 will be 0.357 meter Here, also we need to know the value of lambda at an angle 40 degrees It will be lambda 40 equal 0.8 lambda 0 This means 0.8 times 0.357 will be 0.2856 meter now we have both values for lambda 0 and lambda 40. So we can draw our healing arm. Okay. Here, this is part from statical stability curve. This is enough for us to make our this calculation. Now we need to draw healing arm. Okay. You see, here it will be 0.357. This is first point. We call it A. Then we will draw second point, 0.286 at healing angle 40 degrees, we'll call it P. Then we will connect both points by healing lever. So this line called healing R. Okay. Here will be the intersection point between both caps. See? This is the intersection line between both curves. And this point will be the angle of heel due to grain shift. And the angle will be 7.1 degrees. That means it's less than 12 degrees. Now we are identified with the second condition of grain proportion. One, cycle proportion, zero, less degrees positive.